Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a landing page on MailChimp for free. The first thing you want to do once on MailChimp, you are going to go over to the top right hand corner. And if you already have an account, you are going to tap on login. But if you do not have an account, you are going to tap on start free trial. And you are going to tap on start free trial and from there you are going to enter your name and email address, some basic information. Then you will be led to this page and you will see what is your top goal with MailChimp. And for this example, I will select drive sales revenue or conversion. And also select this right here, send emails people find helpful or entertaining and grow my listing of my list of email subscribers you can select any one of these three options so for this example I'll tap on this one right here then tap on next and you can see right here how many email subscribers do you have and I'll tap on none yet I'm just getting started then you are going to tap on next and from here you could enter your website URL but for now I'll skip that. Then you'll see right here career highlights or MailChimp presents a monthly sampling of our original series and you could scroll down and you can select either one. Then you'll tap on next and after doing that you can see that your account is almost finished setting up all you'll need to do is continue for free and you can compare the different plans as you can see right here they have plans going up to $350 but for now I will be sticking with the free plan then I'll tap on let's go once on this page all you'll need to do now is go over to the top left hand corner and right where you see create you are going to tap on that then after doing that you are going to tap on landing page and from here you are going to name your landing page for this example I'll name mine test then you are going to tap on begin after doing that you will see select a template and from here you can select whichever template you want First, let me close this right here. Let me tap on accept. So all you have to do right now is simply scroll down and once you see a template that you like, you can select that template. So let me scroll down and see if I see any templates that I would like for this. For example, this one right here looks good. So I'll tap on that particular template. Let me go back up this one right here so all you have to do is tap on it once you have done that you'll be redirected to this page and from here you'll be able to edit your landing page so to edit the landing page you will see a menu option on the right hand corner and to change anything on the left hand corner on the landing page you can do that quite easily for example if you would like to change the text all you have to do is tap on the section that you like to change then from here you are going to see the option edit block and you can see the text that was currently in that block right there and if you would like to remove the block you can simply tap on the trash can beside it then tap on delete and also if you would like to remove this section you could simply tap on delete right there and also if you would like to add anything to your landing page you can do that let's say you want to add text you could simply tap on the text box and drag it to the position that you want and from here you could add the text that you would like to add and also if you want to change anything more let me tap on save and close and also if you want to change anything more you can scroll down and for example if you want to change the story right here you could tap on that then tap on the pencil and you can see the story information on the right hand column you could change this you can also change the text style so you can tap on style right there you can change the font size and the font style 
and once it is to your liking you will tap on save and continue then you will scroll down and you can also move around images so let's say you want to delete this section all you have to do is tap on the trash can and you'll be able to delete that block and you can also remove this section if you want or you could edit it if you want but for now I'll simply delete this section and you can see there are numerous options on the left hand corner and how, on the right hand corner better yet and how you can edit it so I'll scroll back up then right where you see the buy now button I'm going to tap on that and from here you could link so let's say for example you are giving away a PDF or so on you could tap right where you see link now and from here you could either tap on file then once you have tapped on file you'll be able to upload the PDF onto MailChimp so you could simply tap on upload in the top right hand corner and you will be able to upload the file to MailChimp and once you have uploaded the file you'll be able to add it for example let me select my files right here let me select upload and upload something real quick and I could upload anything randomly so let me upload something real quick da, 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 da. I'll select this just a random image so that has been uploaded now all you'll have to do now is simply tap on save and you can also change the text right here so let me change the text real quick and type in download now and you can also change the color of the text by tapping on style right here and you can change the settings if you want once it is to your liking all you have to do is scroll down and you can select if you would like it to open in a new window then you are going to tap on save and close and also you could change the background image if you want by simply hovering over it and you can see right here image you could tap on that and you could change the background image if you want but for now I'll keep it at the same image I don't want to change the background image but just in case you would like to change the background image you can all you have to do is upload the new image that you would like to use for example this one right here and I'll tap on insert and you can see that the background image has been changed once everything is to your liking you can go over to the top right hand corner and you'll select preview to preview your new landing page and you can see it right here this is the desktop preview you can also select mobile and see how it will look on a mobile device and once that is to your liking all you have to do is tap on the X in the top right hand corner to go back to the main page as you can see right here and if everything is to your liking and by the way you can also add socials if you want so you can add your social media accounts and so on and once you are done you'll tap on save and close in the bottom right hand corner and you will see that it is saving just give it a few seconds and once it has been saved you'll be redirected to this dashboard and from here if you would like to add a custom URL for example you have your own domain that you would like to use instead of using the MailChimp domain all you'll have to do is scroll down and right where you see URL you are going to tap on edit URL then you will see the option connect domain so you could tap on connect domain and you'll be able to add your custom domain or you'll be able to purchase a domain and you can also change the name of the landing page as you can see right here so you could change the name of the MailChimp domain to whatever you want and also if you would like to edit the audience you can do that also all you'll have to do is tap on that then you'll tap on edit audience and that's it and by the way once you're finished you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner and that's it 
Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.